Is this your first time here? Yes. It's been a rough two years for shop owner Everell Bell. The Great Recession turned her clothing boutique, My Favorite Place, into a very quiet place. She had to let her one employee go as sales dropped 50 percent. People were looking for bargains or not spending at all. In 2008, more than 595,000 small businesses closed their doors. In the past two years, more than 100,000 declared bankruptcy. The number one problem has really been just lost sales, lost customers. Um, you know, business can't survive if they don't have customers coming in the door. When Everell Bell's landlord raised her rent, she figured her 35 years on Los Angeles's Larchmont Boulevard were over. But just down the street, Chris Wolfus's general store was also struggling. Sales dropped maybe 20 percent. A couple of people we, we had to lay off. With both owners facing sluggish sales, Everell had an idea. Jeez slow. I'm slow. I'm looking for a place. She came down here one day and said, hey, what would you think of doing something together? So Everill moved a couple doors down and set up shop with Chris. Everill's dresses and scarves are up front. Chris's cards and stationery in the back. They now tag team the customers. Gee, you got this cute card. How about this scarf that's out there? Foot traffic has doubled and sales are actually up nearly 10 percent. Does it feel like you're seeing more customers and are they actually buying? Yes, in the last couple of months, they've started to open their wallets a little bit more. In fact, total U.S. retail sales are up 8.8 percent since last year, a sign consumers are getting their confidence back. Yet banks are still holding on to their cash, making small business loans hard to get. So the Obama administration is calling for a $30 billion fund for community banks to jumpstart lending to small businesses. Two-thirds of the net new jobs are created by small business owners. So if we're going to see a turnaround in job growth and a turnaround in the unemployment rate, we've got to get small business owners hiring again. Meanwhile, Everill and Chris continue to survive through healthy competition. Dude, I'm getting new merchandise tomorrow, so watch out, boy. <laughs> ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.